Hey, how are you? My name is Gordon. I'm a Kenyan registered nurse working here in the US. And today I want to talk about certified registered nursing assistant positions here in the US. So recently an agency that is predominantly recruiting nurses to come to the US sent me a mail that they were now recruiting even certified nursing assistant from abroad to come and work in the US and I shared the message on my Facebook page and I want to say that most uh, people did apply for those position and at the moment they are at the stage of labor certification process whereby the u.s labor department certifies that the position of uh, cns in some particular region in the United States are not easily filled due to shortage of skilled personnel willing to work in those areas. After the labor certification has been issued, then the agency will go ahead and apply for green a green card for the successful applicants and this green card is the normal green card that is being issued to those who have won the diversity visa lottery this green card allows the successful applicant to come to the u.s with their families uh, dependents 21 years and below and spouses and they are also eligible to apply for citizenship after five years of continuous residency in the US the agency also informed me that they will be paying $20 per hour for this position and I believe if they are being sent to areas with high cost of living then the pay will definitely go up for instance if you are sending someone to san diego in california los angeles in california new york or you're sending someone to oregon hawaii or alaska you will definitely give this person a higher pay as compared to the person who is being sent to Texas. Yeah, and uh, the classification of CNAs for those who have studied abroad, we can use patient care assistant, healthcare assistant, nursing aid. So all those titles. Uh, can be used to apply for this position of the CNA and the only qualification is that you need to have a certificate from a reputable college training nursing assistants and you should also have at least six months clinical experience for you to be considered for this position I will also urge nurses who do not want to do NCLEX, nurses who do not want to take the English exam, that you can still apply and come to the US through this channel, then work for the agency for three years, and by the time you'll be finishing your contract, you would have taken the NCLEX, and uh, some state won't require you to take the English exam because you will now be a US resident.
so you can take the NCLEX without the English exam. Yeah, I can also advise the certificate nurses, those who hold certificate in nursing. And since that category of nurses are not coming to the US, if you feel like that you want to come to the US, then you can also apply as a nursing assistant, then come to the US and uh, as you work for those three years, you should put an effort to take the prerequisite classes and go back to nursing school for the two years, get your RN, or you can also decide to do LPN, which is only 12 months or nine months, depending on the school. Then you take the NCLEX for the, for the LPN and you become a nurse. So if anyone needs help on how he or she should go about putting his or her application for this position, you can reach out. And what normally happens to us is that we charge $27 for the consultation. We can also help you come up with a very nice CV and that is all I can do for you at the moment but I will continue relaying more information as soon as I get them from the agency. Thank you so much for listening and subscribe to my youtube channel also like my facebook page and uh, i'm also on instagram and i'm also on tiktok just look for mark mark m-a-r-c gordon g-o-r-d-o-n sobukwe s-o-b-u-k-w-e Thank you so much and nice to meet you.